In this video, we're going to compare site speed plugins. We hit a major home run on the one on the right here, 98 on mobile with a 1.3 second load time. That's amazing. On the left here, this is a no caching plugin. And in the middle, this is using Lightspeed, which was the winner from our previous tutorials on this matter. So the new contender, which you're going to discover today, blew everything out of the water. And if you look at desktop with no caching plugin, we have a 51 and 2.2 seconds. And for Lightspeed, we have a 94 and 0.7 seconds load time. And for the new contender on the right, we have 100 out of 100 for desktop with a 0.6 second load time. If you have any questions or comments throughout this video, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. We're gonna be doing our speed testing on this website again. This will be familiar to you if you watched the previous videos in this series where we tested a whole bunch of plugins versus each other to see which ones are the fastest. And the champion so far against, I think, eight different plugins, including premium ones and free ones, was Lightspeed Cache. Even though I'm not on a Lightspeed server, I'm on SiteGround with this website. This website runs Elementor. This page right here is an Elementor template. Those are known to load slowly, but we can still get to load fast with Lightspeed and even faster with the Challenger I'm gonna show you today. So make sure you stick around to see who the winner is. But first, let's get a baseline for this website. Let's enter the URL here at PageSpeed Insights, click on Analyze, and the results are terrible. We have a 15 on mobile, 8.7 second till first content full paint. On desktop, 51. The time to first content full paint for me is the most important because when people come to your site, they wanna see something happening as soon as possible, otherwise they bounce off. And the first content full paint is the first sign something is happening. So this is a very important number. You wanna get this number as low as possible. 2.2 seconds is too slow on desktop, that's why it's red. And on mobile, 8.7 seconds is definitely too slow, that's also why it is red. And this test is run without any caching plugins installed or activated. And it's an Elementor-based website, that also makes it a bit slower. And now I'm gonna head back into the site, I'm gonna activate Lightspeed Cache. I'm not gonna set any settings for it, I'll have that in a separate video. And this video is just about who's the fastest. So let's go into the dashboard, Let's head into plugins, installed plugins. There's a whole bunch of caching plugins you'll see here that are deactivated. Those are also used in previous tests and previous videos. I've linked to all the videos in this series down below in the description so you can check out all the tests I've done with caching plugins on this site. And this is a legit site. You can see there's lots of plugins besides caching plugins. In fact, there are 25 active plugins. The caching ones are all inactive right now. So these 25 plugins are used to make the site work as it should, and it's a legit site. It gets visitors, it makes ad revenue, it's a hobby site, I don't take it too seriously, but it still is a legitimate website running Elementor, Elementor Pro, and Astra. So let's scroll down here, go to Lightspeed Cache, activate that. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. Now we'll go out to the front end of the website and refresh just to make sure everything is still as it should be. There's a missing image at the top. That's because I didn't add a featured image for this post. All the other posts in this blog will appear to be as they should be. If I click into a post, also appears correct, and that's good enough. Good enough for a test. If something is broken, you do want to fix it. Otherwise, why even test a caching plugin speed if it breaks the site? Doesn't make any sense. So if the website is broken for whatever reason, you want to make sure that you check the settings of the caching plugin. And again, that's a separate tutorial where I set up the settings. This is just to show the speed testing. So let's open a new tab of PageSpeed Insights, paste in our URL, and analyze. So with Lightspeed, we have a 58 and 2.1 second load time. On desktop, we have a 94 with a 0.7 second load time. Now let's go back into the site and replace, not replace, deactivate Lightspeed and activate today's contender. Let's find Lightspeed from our plugin list here. There it is, deactivate. And now we're gonna activate the one you've all been asking for See right here, Nitro Pack. Activate that guy, and we're gonna see if Nitro Pack stacks up. Before we do that, just wanna show you the Nitro Pack website. 
nitropack.io. There's a link in the description down below to get here. It is an affiliate link. So if you end up buying Nitropack, I do get a small commission, but it doesn't make it more expensive for you. This means you get a bit of kickback and I can keep making these videos for you. That said, there's a free plan and the free plan might be more than you need. It works for up to 5,000 page views per month, but there is going to be a Nitropack badge in the footer of your site, only for the free plan. But it works up to 5,000 page views a month. And we're gonna see if it's worth its salt. Then you can decide whether or not you wanna get it. Then you can decide whether or not you wanna get it. In a future video that's coming out next week, I'm going to be walking through exactly how to set up NitroPack, how to create this free account. It's going to walk you through all the settings that I set on my account and my website to get the results I'm going to show you. And similar settings should provide similar results for your website as well. So now that NitroPack is activated, as you can see right here, let's go to our site to make sure it still works. Let's do a hard refresh. Our site is still here. Everything's loading as it was before. I clicked into one of these posts. It still loads just fine. And now let's test this thing. So let's open a new Google PageSpeed Insights tab. Let's paste in our URL and see what kind of results we get. And holy smokes, a 98 on mobile. I've never seen a score this high on mobile this easily. Because <laughs> when you see the, the settings video, you'll see how easy it was to set up NitroPack. It is super simple and that's an amazing result. All our metrics here are in green. Our first content full paint is in 1.3 seconds on mobile and on desktop, which is usually better than mobile, hopefully is better in this case as well. And it is, it's up to hundred, so it's not much better. It went from 98 to hundred, but it's still better. So that's pretty awesome. First content full paint in 0.6 seconds and everything is in green. There are no warnings or anything on the desktop version. There are some warnings here. Remove unused CSS, properly sized images, this is the image for the logo. I use the Astro theme and I resize the logo to be the size that I want it using the customizer. So this wants that logo to be the perfect size to begin with. So that one change could make almost no difference at all, 0.15 seconds. So that may not be the most important change, especially considering we're already at a 98 and a 1.3. And these numbers fluctuate, but we're always above 90s and usually high 90s when I test this and desktop is always around 100. And the settings I use, like I said, I'm gonna show you in the video that's coming out on Monday or Tuesday or sometime next week, and you can follow those settings exactly using a free NitroPack account. Remember to use the link in the description down below to get there, and then come back here and leave a comment letting me know what kind of results you got, or if you didn't get results that were that good, we can try to figure out what went wrong. Next up is watching this playlist right here. This is the WordPress speed up playlist on my channel. In this playlist, you're gonna find the NitroPack video that I used to set up NitroPack for this tutorial to get the results that we got in this tutorial. So make sure you check out that playlist and that video. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.